uh, when I saw you about a year ago, yeah. and you came in and uh, you were in a fair bit of trouble. Yeah. What was yeah. going on for you then? I uh, just stopped work. I'd been having this pain for about four or five years. <coughs> Quit my job from manual job to work in an office. Got to a point where I couldn't even sit on a chair no more. And you were planning on being a footballer? Yeah. That right? Was that was like your dream. Time, yeah. yeah. Stopped football, had MRI scans done back a couple of years after that. And got told I had to have an operation because it's my lower disc, I had to go through the front, might not be able to have kids. Now, all this sort of scary stuff. I got told I hadn't seen this in the young man. It was like I had a back of a 70 year old. That's what I was told. Yeah. So let's just have a look at some of the things that you were doing when you were moving. Can you pick that up for me? Can you place it down again? Same way. Did you hold your breath? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Okay, just turn around so you're facing this way. Can you do that again? You were very, very guarded and yeah. you thought you were going to do some major harm yeah. by moving. And I was quite persistent with you, yeah. making you move. Uh, and you weren't quite sure that was such a good idea at the time, I think. No, of course not, because when I've done it before, it was hurting me. So what would you think would happen if I got you to relax over and pick it up? What do you oh, reckon would happen? I don't think I'd be back up. No? What, you think you'd be stuck? No, so, no I could, but I just want to get back up that way. We took you through a bit of a sequence of trying to get you to bend and you were quite resistant to that. So I tried you to relax you lying down, you didn't like me bringing your knee up to your chest, I tried to get you to roll your pelvis, you didn't really like that either. I looked at how you were rolling over, and you didn't really like that too much either. And then I had you on the hands and knees. One of the things that I observed was he was really guarded through his abdomen. He couldn't relax his stomach. And of course, when you tense your belly, you tense your back. And I was wondering how much of that was like, you know, this whole protective response to, you know, thinking that your back was damaged, which it sounds like is what was going through your head. And uh, the good thing you showed me was the thing with your wrist at that point in time. Imagine yeah. if you did this. Imagine if I said, well, I keep it loose and move it. Would that be a problem for you? No. Would it? Yeah, come on. Clench it. Now move it. What do you feel? No, move it right around. Forward or back. Clench. Grates and creaks and grinds, isn't it? Why is that? Because you're creating all this load on your back. Cracks and creaks. Did you tell me about your back? Cracks. Bends. Yeah. Sharp pains. That just clicked in my head. That's exactly what I'm doing to my spine. Yeah, it's quite a simple message actually, but it's interesting that that <coughs> message was like yeah, stuck that's in stuck my head. Yeah, that definitely that was a big thing. And eventually, we got you to relax <coughs> and then to bend, because um, at the end of the at the end of the session, I had you bending down and touching your toes, uh, and relaxing into the chair and bending over, and um, then you went home. And so, of course, we see people once, and you don't know what happened. You know, some people go, well, you know, I'm on stage and it's pretty impressive and so, but of course you'll be back limping around tomorrow. But we got you back the second day yeah. and you drove back in and uh, you said that you felt quite different. When I come up here, I drove up here the Thursday, it was a terrible journey, I've just sat in traffic and I was fine. But normally if I'm sitting in traffic, that's when I think, oh, you know, I mean, I can't move now for ages, but I was fine. <laughs> I'm shocked at you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Just because obviously I didn't expect that sort of stuff, like that sort of results straight away. So if you look back on that whole experience, what, what do you reckon was going on for you? What, in my mind? Yeah. Well, I know I was protecting myself now. I know everything was in my mind. All my pain was stemming from myself. And I literally noticed a difference overnight. Because when I've been told that my back was in pieces, and then to hear that they weren't, and I could do these things, my mindset straight away changed, and that was honestly the relief straight away. So you said that you had this belief that your back was in pieces, but you obviously changed that view quite quickly, was that? Yeah, well, why, why you stay had it? Because event, uh, as you kept pushing me, I was doing the stuff pain free. Yeah. That's all so I it was once you experienced that you could move without hurting yourself, yeah. you realised that you weren't going to fall apart. Yeah, and to hear from you as well, you said you've dealt with people with this who are still sportsmen, you know what I mean? I've been told that, man, you can't do anything. You're going to struggle your whole life, basically, on it. But just to be told that, it's just such a relief. 
Mm. Just, yeah, literally instantaneous. It felt different. Okay. So what's happened in the last year then? What's been happening for you? Uh, I started up my own company and not to stop working, digging up. Are you digging up? <laughs> yeah, playing so. water mains, gas mains, electric not, mains. Not I bad dig for every day of my someone life. Someone back with an 80 year old. Dig every day of my life. Works nine, seven days a week, every month. Yeah. I just don't stop working. Because when I was out working, I'd have done manual work for about a year, but I'll come and see you. Yeah. And you were struggling to sit as well. I was struggling to sit. Driving to work was killing me. It's like half hour journey. I just don't, I can't, couldn't believe it. But it's, it was a bit unreal, you know what I mean, to see that change in yourself like that. But, yeah. So you're spending how many hours a week? The in and uh, the I was every day. I've, we started up on our own six months ago. And obviously when you start up on your own, you've got to put the work in. So I just haven't started. But I do have odd days, to be honest. My back tends up fast, stop doing anything. Do you want a whip in your shirt? <laughs> He's a good looking physique, this boy. <laughs> Bend down towards toes. And up you come. So just keep your legs straight and bend over. And up you come. Bend backwards. And back to the middle, go left. Now, I remember from your MRI scan that there was um, a number of levels, is that right, Johan? There was multi level changes, a bit of. Just a bit of a degenerative change. There was a few end plate changes, I think, Schmuel's nose or whatever. And uh, on the basis of that, people like yourself have been written off. Told you at the back of an 80 year old that your discs are worn out and you know, everything's ended and you're a young man. And now you're digging holes full time for a job and feeling better for digging. Where most people think, oh, if you're doing a manual job, you're going to wear those discs out. There's not good evidence for that. Yeah. And in fact, you know, using your body and working it in, you know, Making those structures work well is much healthier than sitting around thinking that your days are ended. Yeah. So if you look back in the last year, there were like three things that you had to say were the key things that made that change, or whatever the key things were. What, what were they, do you think? If you look back and someone said, to look, look mate, what, how come you're good now and you were so bad then? What are the key things that allowed you to change, do you think? Completely my mindset changed. Knew myself, weren't doing myself no damage, relaxing and moving. And yeah, that's it. Just my mindset was the big thing. You're such a great example of someone who had pain for a long period of time. So it wasn't just a short period, it's a lot no, of time. So and you were young, and you had really lost hope, I think. Uh, and there was a switch that happened when, once you understood that it could be different and you've gone for it. And the fact that you've gone back and you're doing manual work, you're digging holes. And, you know, it kind of completely validates it. It's not just about what your scan looks like. So, thank you very much, and we wish you well for the future. Thank you. Thank you.